Hello, and welcome to I Have Notes, a show where people with a surprisingly full IMDb page talk things creative, animation, maybe Elon Musk and Grimes Kid. Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, I'm Carrie Shawcross, uh, and with me is my co-host. Hi, I'm Issa Badiola, and we also have Aaron and Jordan with us today. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. We're back. Good to be good to be back. We're back. We made baby. it to two. Good to <laughs> yes. have you back. Y'all are my favorite guests, and I have notes so far. <laughs> Aww, thanks, Carrie. That's really good to hear. Yeah, I was I guests. was nervous that like <laughs> some stand in 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 one of the rehearsals was your favorite. <laughs> well, you know, there's still time. Anything could change. But That's now, true. how's I'll everybody be, doing? I'll be good. I just ate like a third of a bag of chips with some sour cream. So I'm like on a spectrum, a little less than okay, but livable. How big was this bag? Well, it's the H-E-B bags and H-E-B is from Texas. So so, so they're pretty big. They're pretty Texas big. Size. Can, I, can I ask about the emotions and feelings that led to this decision? Yes. Uh, I got stressed. Uh. <laughs> it's, it's weird because I'm supposed to have my time off or I'm supposed to be, uh, I'm supposed to be, uh, not working, but then I thought about working and then I checked Slack and then I got stressed. You, you fool. I, I, I have to admit, I fucked up. I fucked up. So <laughs> second day of no working, I'm like, oh man, this is, this is bad guys. <laughs> I, as soon as I get time off, like I delete Slack off my phone immediately. That is a good thing to do. So, yeah. I tried just email muting Slack, it. gone. I tried just muting it and like without fail, I'll accidentally press on it. And oh then my I'll God. see <laughs> and I'll start working. And it's like, no, but what used to get me is the um not even just like the notification sound, but the badge icon, like the number. Yep. Like if if I have like anything on there, I need to clear it, oh. and so like it is sometimes torture to like just let that let, let that like number keep going up. So I turn that off. I turn off notifications. It it does show like the uh, the notification in the like home screen. Yeah. Um. But that's like you know if I look at my phone and I see it, I can check it there and it's fine. But like I'm not getting the buzz. I used to be in like voice re recordings and stuff, and my phone would just keep buzzing every time I would get a Slack. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And then like in an hour recording or something, I, I, like I would check it and it would be like 70 unread messages. Oh, like, yep. and th this is in the midst of production and stuff, so it could get pretty bad. I you would not like the life I live. I pretty much always have at least 30 unread Slacks. Read uh, them. Just clear it. I, they, <laughs> look, give me your phone. There, there are things that I need to do with them, so I leave it marked as unread. I've yeah, given I up on my email. That. that I can't even do that. Don't even try. I have, I have to set reminders. I, it's like I'm going to read this and then remind me in an hour or something. Because if I leave it unread, I'm going to like just check it reflexively. So it's not yeah. going to do any good. Yeah, but maybe in an hour I'm playing Final Fantasy VII, <laughs> and that's not a good time. So now I'm busy. No, no I'm really busy. Yeah, no, that's important. So. You know, okay, uh, I saw you were, you were actually playing Final Fantasy XIV. Look, <laughs> look. Okay, hey, explain yourself. I don't know what it is. I think I'm addicted to MMOs. I like. There's so many things I need to do and I want to do, but then also being a cat boy oh my God. in a fantasy world has risen to the top of that somehow. <laughs> and it shouldn't, but I can't stop playing it. I don't know. I, I'm, I haven't played it too much yet, but I uh, it was a bad decision that I'm sure I will regret later. Have you been addicted to other MMOs before? Were you on that WoW train? Or... Oh, I was on that WoW train. <laughs> I played it like the day it came out. Uh, and thankfully, I was that was back when I was in school. So it was just like a summer where I just like, basically, I became nocturnal. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would stay you sound, up. You sound like my brother. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> I just like I spent like a whole like year basically of just like having this crazy schedule. Um, and then since then, I've mostly stayed out of them. Um, you haven't gone back for like Cataclysm and... No, I've tried uh, a couple vanilla. times. I couldn't do it. Once I got out, That's I good. stayed out. But That's good. But Final Fantasy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, say, you saying that you're a cat boy made me very happy. I, I tried to... I modeled my, my character after my cat. 
Of course you did. <gasps> okay, I was going to say, especially after our furry conversation last yeah. week. Oh, well, of course. Yeah. You guys, I haven't seen any furry fan art of us, and I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> I think I might have to commission somebody, because I really want it to happen. I'll oh, commission okay. Aaron. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you sponsor <laughs> notes? For furries? furries? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that totally. was, we we're still that trying. Yeah. You know. Is there is there like a council? A council of furries. The like, how do I get in contact council. with the furries? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I think you have to I go think... outside and start like a ritual bonfire or something. That's fair. Start, start hey, dancing. hey, can we talk about trolls too? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Could we talk about also AMC? The troll too. And how I'm very confused at what amc is doing have oh, y'all seen this man. yeah so oh, i i actually just watched um there's this youtube channel i like called let me explain and it's this guy who covers uh uh movie uh summaries basically kind of does like a basic like here's the gist of it here's my opinion and i just like the way he presents it and how mm. he talks because i think he's really funny and he's super relatable so even if um it's uh what elizabeth olsen in another movie he always refers to her as scarlet witch <laughs> nice. me too so it's, all, it's easy for plebeians <laughs> like me to remember <laughs> um and he i he just released a video for uh trolls to an am versus amc and it was just a wonderful explanation of how universal is going into streaming and apparently they said something that made amc mad so amc is deciding not to uh not to put in theaters any universal films so that includes like the james bond movie the trolls 2 movie fast um, and the furious fast and furious 9 oh my movie. god what no. are they thinking they're thinking they're very important to the <laughs> studio <laughs> and they're wrong yeah i just don't understand I'm, I'm okay here's the positive on this i'm really happy that universal made a bunch of money on trolls, on trolls 2, 2. <laughs> in this like weird time period that we're in i'm not going to say trying times because everybody's saying that we're in a really weird time and they tried something out and it worked and that's I don't see how that's not good. Yeah. And I don't understand what weird power play AMC is pulling of like, well, we're not going to show your movies then. It's like, see, the thing okay. is like, Trolls 2 made more money in the like five weeks it's been out on demand than Trolls 1 made in five months while it was yes. in theaters. Oh like, yes. What the heck? Yeah. Yes. Glad exactly. Trolls 2 is like this, this, dark horse that has appeared in photos is this is this the only like animated movie to come out like in the it purely in the midst of the lockdown like because I, I know more coming i know yeah. onward onward came out like just before because that was the last right. movie i saw in, mm -hmm. in theaters and then they like released it on disney plus it really yeah. quickly and then, like way sooner yeah and then I, I heard a bunch of people watching it and stuff but i i don't know how that like it you know there's a still a crossover there so it's not like fully right you know you can't really measure how, how how it was impacted um but yeah trolls 2 is this, really interesting to look at especially now that they have beef with a movie theater wait it's, can i read the quote that for amc released yes, oh my please. god Aaron, please so, this is i don't know who hurt these people but man <laughs> okay, apparently so. universal apparently trolls did <laughs> it is disappointing to us but jeff's comments as to universal's Unilateral actions and intentions have left us with no choice, AMC said in a statement. Therefore, effective immediately, AMC will no longer play any Universal movies in our theaters in the United States, Europe, or the Middle East. This policy is not some hollow or ill-considered threat. Which is there you go. That's very. That's very. All uh, because of trolls language. too. He says, "This is this is not some hollow or ill-considered <laughs> Ill threat. It is a very." full and well-considered threat we are threatening <laughs> yeah you with all of our might <laughs> all of our nothing might yeah also i'm surprised they have movie theaters or amc theaters in europe in the middle east that was do that does seem a little yeah. weird are they only in saudi arabia because didn't they just like open up up, up a bunch of i don't know AMC i thought it was just an american year? thing i don't know all, i all i, I don't even know the Fast the last time I went to an AMC theater, you know, 
Yeah, I like. I only we we have we're blessed with Alamo Draft Alamo. House yeah, in Austin. Yeah, I've been spoiled. I can never go back um, to a normal theater. The only time exactly. I would ever go to AMC was like if they were doing some like weird showing. Oh right. Um, because they do do that. Yeah, they will, but I mean that's not going to be universal to begin with. Yeah, but that's yeah. also. <laughs> It not, won't be Fast and the Furious. That's not how they're making money. They're making money off of Fast and the Furious. And I don't know, <laughs> half the movies that come out because Universal is like 50% of the stupid market oh share. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, according to the um, Let Me Explain video, some of the statistics is like, I think AMC is actually the number one movie theaters in like globally. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. interesting. So they have a huge bid, but at the same time, they're also going very... Uh, some they're they're doing very badly um, amid <laughs> COVID right now. So right. of course it, it it's kind of like a oh how are they desperate? What's going on? Um, it definitely sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. It it's a weird situation. Um, I mean, and then the big thing too with Universal is that uh, unlike what we were talking about with um, Pixar and how they got onward onto Disney Plus with Universal's movies, they're only letting people rent them. They're not actually letting people own them. So hmm. that's how they're getting, they're basically that makes sense. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, there's also there's also a price barrier to watching Onward, but it's like, yeah. you also get so much more with it as well. So yeah. it, it really, yeah, it does, it's not as easily translatable to like box office numbers. Um, right. But but you mentioning um, AMC struggling, uh, Right now, Disney Plus is really the only revenue stream for Disney I that I can think of. Oh. Um, and it's starting to show. Uh, this is a tweet from Cartoon Oof. Brew. It says, Walt Disney Company quarterly profits plunged 91% year oh. over year oh. from $5.4 billion to $460 million. <laughs> that is... That hurts no, my head. Fuck, that is the difference of $5 billion. <laughs> It's it's so hard to wrap my head around because also four hundred and sixty million dollars is a fuck ton of money. Yeah. yeah. But you know what else is a bigger fuck ton of money? Five point six billion. My favorite Shit. part about this tweet is um it's just a, an image of Mickey Mouse with his hands out and it says in arched letters, everything's fucked. <laughs> I saw that in Vegas one time. There's there is I saw Minnie Mouse pass down the street and it was basically yeah. the same thing. It's so yeah, hard to imagine what you do with that much money sometimes. No, I, mean, I can imagine true. it. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. I, I said I mean, and then I was like, okay, no. If you think about the Disney, the Disney company and what they have, it it's it's a considerable amount of money. At what point I mean, do you try to start buying a state? <laughs> like there's, I mean, some... they own they own some islands, right? That, uh, their cruises go to, yeah, some private islands, oh, but crazy. like it, like they have so many things. Uh, so many companies they own and like operations that they run, but they're all affected except for their digital like yeah. SWOD platform. Oh, like they can't do cruises, Disneyland, oh, yeah. all their parks are closed. Yeah, um, they can do merchandise. They they're not, but they're that's not releasing, slower. Yeah, they're not releasing any movies. Yeah. They're not shooting any movies. Yeah. Um. So even if their animated products are st- uh, projects are still going, they're not getting released anywhere. And I guess they're not you know putting them out on disney plus premiering them on disney plus because of the problem with you know you can't track the uh the sale of it so they would have to do what uh trolls did and just have people rent it yeah but then i feel like that would kind of devalue disney plus then you exactly know? yeah they've been undercutting themselves so yeah. they they almost put themselves in a right in own Boy, how do you spot almost like maybe they shouldn't have done disney plus hmm. but then again mm. who would predict a pandemic yeah, exactly <laughs> i oh. you know in the grand scheme of things disney plus or here here's how we can wait okay baby yoda in the <laughs> pandemic <laughs> which, you know baby yoda was pretty good he was, was it worth it i'm not gonna say that it was worth it i am gonna say that i really like baby yoda <laughs> that's what you stand. I'll, I'll also say that if yeah. we yeah. sacrifice baby yoda will things go back to normal <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh man! If we it, could it, fix this pandemic, with on the flip side, I'm willing. Yoda I'm willing to try. Yoda. I'm willing to try. I agree. <laughs> also, Aaron, is that is that the is that the shirt that you talked about last week? It is. 
<laughs> my great hospital bedside manner. Oh, shirt. no. Yeah. I wore this to work and then I had to leave immediately to go to the hospital and it didn't occur to me to change. <laughs> well, it's a cool shirt. Yeah, I like it. So <laughs> that part of it is good. If I were in a hospital, I probably wouldn't like it. No. Yeah. Just quarantine things. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of, this is not actually a good segue, but speaking of just quarantine things. Uh, something happened today that as of this recording, I still know to be true. And so I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the second tweet. That's like, this isn't real. But until then I have a little game that I'd like to play with y'all. Uh, we have a graphic. If we could, uh, pull that first one up. Oh, <laughs> what did Elon Musk and Grimes name their child? Uh, boy. Did they hang on? If we can give one second. I, I, so what I want to do is, uh, <laughs> it's okay. Um, I've got, I've got four names. This is multiple choice. Uh, oh, I wanted to pitch my own name. I well, hey, you yeah. know what? Can I still do that? Go ahead, give pitch me your name. Okay, I think they named their child Morpheus. Oh my god, Ooh, god. that's pretty good. That would have been <laughs> knowing better. Grimes and Elon Musk. That's just the kind yeah, of chaotic my, energy. My I guess that's gonna them. be like. For, for the combination of those two people, it was going to be either like... Fred Morpheus? Or, or like a sound. <laughs> like, just like, you have to make a sound. <laughs> say the, the child. Just dolphin so, screeching noise. Now yeah, it's like... <laughs> Jordan, you're, you're walking over there. You're getting oh, close. Uh, Aaron, also, I'd like to just point out that you probably picked Morpheus as kind of a weird name. Yeah. And you have no idea how... <laughs> Fuck it. That is basically James of this situation. Oh, um, but hang on, let's go ahead. I want to. I want to give a fair shot. Uh, okay, All if we right. get that graphic back up. Uh, so here, here's our options. Um, a. Show me Fred. Fred. Okay. <laughs> maybe nice and classic. Maybe a little boring, but you know. B. Rupert. All right. Are we gonna Rupert go down the Weasley kids? Kind of a, maybe. Kind of good ring, dude. I wasn't thinking that when I made this, but you're right. <laughs> uh, C. Rupert We've got <laughs> Elon, Elon Jr. Jr. Once you know, that's, he already has like five other fun. kids, I think, but he wants to pass yeah, it on. Right. Oh, he does. Uh, and then there's D. <laughs> How do is you that, pronounce that? Is that a model number of a printer? Uh, I guess that's which one do y'all think model. might be the name oh, of no. their child? Is D pronounced E? <laughs> <laughs> I Is would like right? to know how I genuine, genuine try. Jordan, can you pronounce D? I don't. So <laughs> I can't pronounce it. I can try, but my guess is you have to solve the equation. Oh my God. <laughs> and the answer is the child's name. Uh, I think we can go ahead. I think it's pretty clear that it was, in fact, D. Yeah. Oh, no way. I was really hoping for Fred um i did i was i was gunning for rupert personally uh what are they thinking there needs to be I a mean, stop to this this isn't positive i'm sorry <laughs> let's make this positive yeah, can we make this positive my my first reaction is just are there people who are gonna think oh this is so smart by elon musk like if anyone else had done it they'd right. be like come on people what are you doing but like there are people who perceive Elon Musk's, uh, his aura, his like weird lifestyle, his right. brand, if you will. It's a big brain, do you know? Yeah, they they perceive it in such a way that they're like, ah, oh, he would. What else would it be? Of course, classic Elon, so smart. I think so I saw something that it might be like and an aviation. I own I own one of his vehicles, so <laughs> yeah, that's okay. coming from someone who has kind of bought in, but also I recognize. He's kind of a nerd douche. Yeah. Carrie, you own one of his other vehicles too. Look. Yeah, Carrie also owns this. Yes. I, I like to support Elon. I, 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 I like the mission he's going for. Yeah. And, and I also like even some of his weird things where he's like, I think we could genetically make cat girls. I think that's possible. I'm like, <gasps> okay, <gasps> okay. I'm not going to stop you. Okay. If like, you were to do that, like I would be all on board. Right. Like he's done some pretty shitty things, but oh man. That's my thing. Right it's like it's it's 
there's a certain point where the bad's gonna outweigh the good, and and uh, I'm worried about that. I uh, feel like we're getting closer all the time. To cackerels? <laughs> or to Elon losing it. <laughs> to what Gary said, not the cat girls. Oh, okay. Fuck. Well, I, I I I pulled up an article while we were talking about because I'm just I'm trying to remember what that A and that E combination is. I pulled up an article I was, and it, yeah, it's like a it's like a Scandinavian vowel, right? So hey, yep. there's there's a you guys. I'll read out uh, out loud. So one person on Twitter appeared to guess the pronunciation correctly because Elon Musk himself liked their tweet, oh. and they said X Ash Archangel. Because ah. the tweet also showed a screenshot of a wiki page that explained that the AE is a ligature named Ash. And A-12, ah. A-12 is thought to be in reference to the CIA aircraft Lockheed A-12, which was codenamed Archangel. Oh my god. He basically named his kid, like, Kingdom Hearts name. Right. <laughs> it's like, or like the secret message memes that only he gets. I like I even I would be down if like the middle name was like the weird AE thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that's like I, and I guess I'm on the fence is like name your kid wherever you want. But also like, please, they're a human being. <laughs> and like my yeah. like my 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 real name is Kyrian. And is that. Right? Yeah. I and had that, no idea. Eric, Eric really? Know that. What the fuck? <laughs> you didn't know uh, I had no idea. I feel yeah. lied to. Carry is short for Kyrian. <laughs> and it's like, Kyrian. I grew up and that was like an interesting childhood. And I'm not mm. like upset about it. My parents like it's not it's not a big deal. But like that wasn't awesome. I can't even mm -hmm. imagine. Like, what are you, what are you going to do when you have a substitute teacher? <laughs> You just How go to class. You just yeah. Skip, maybe, walk out. maybe they just won't go to uh, class because they're Elon's kid. Also true. On, honestly, the amount of privilege in this child's life is going to be oh, so great that fair. like everyone already knows how to pronounce their name. The yeah. school that this kid goes to will probably have other X Ash Archangels oh there God. as well. <laughs> other <laughs> equations to oh, solve. Was it Gwyneth Paltrow's kids like Apple or something? Hey, Apple's actually a pretty common name. Is it okay? Well, it, in the Philippines. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say for I, for a while, Apple used to be like I can't believe she named her kid Apple. Yeah, <laughs> now Apple is like so normal and blasé that you yeah. were begging for someone to be named Apple again. The yeah. the evolution from Apple was Blue Ivy and Northwest, and now there's X Ash Archangel apparently. Um. So all this comes to Elon. Please be a good person. <laughs> yeah. Think of your child. Take us to Mars and then stop. Yeah. <laughs> get off, well, I don't think I don't think Grimes should be blameless as well. That's oh, fair. True. I mean, true. yeah. If I ever. It. Yeah. <laughs> it was probably her idea. I... Oh yeah. Or or Grimes Elon of the past, present, and future. Whatever bad idea she had before. <laughs> what if the doctor named the child that? <laughs> they couldn't decide. Word. And they're like, doctor, please just pick something. <laughs> the, the printer had an error and printed an error code, and then they just yeah, went with yeah. it. I guess that's what we have to name. Her. Yeah, sorry, All right. I'm sorry to dunk on a newborn, but yeah, it's I just, episode two, and we're already that newborn is already like way richer and more famous than any of us. So that is true. Oh my god, I don't feel that bad. <laughs> but hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> look, yes, look, yes, I get it. I get. Oh man. How do we stay oh. away from that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where. Um, oh man, we we ran through a lot of things. What uh, we could talk? Uh, Jordan, go ahead. I was gonna I was gonna talk about the uh, the video. Um, I told you guys about this video, but it, yeah. it came out like right after last week's episode came up, and we were talking about like struggling for pro productivity in the times of mm -hmm. quarantine and lockdown, and. Uh, I always forget the order of letters in his name. Is uh, it GCP? CGP? It's AEX12. <laughs> yeah. uh, CGP Gray, uh, who makes uh, a lot of great YouTube videos, but um, he made a really good one about productivity and uh, kind of like he used um, this metaphor of like everyone being in their own spaceship uh, in suspended animation around the world. 
uh and you know while we're in lockdown Mm -hmm. and uh how to keep the ship that is you running um Mm. and the core the the power core being like mental health and physical health Mm. and uh basically just like how you can physically uh uh compartmentalize it and uh and like so so that like when you're in like a specific space you're doing a specific thing that is Mm. meant to help those two functions the health Mm. uh the physical and the mental um i highly recommend it uh i i put some of the stuff into practice um and it's helped a little bit uh so so check out this video that's awesome i guess i mean that's a good way to bring this up is like how's everybody doing this week and we kind of we yeah, really talked does, about it really does change week to week doesn't it yeah, <laughs> yeah it does this last week was a little bit tougher Ooh, last I mean, week yeah. was a uh, big poo poo stinky i did not like last week <laughs> yeah sometimes they're just bad yeah, yeah sometimes they're just I, bad. I don't feel like anything really changed and maybe it's because Maybe I don't take like stock of things happening around me as well as I should. I kind of just let things play out um, so that like I don't ever get too like emotionally up or down, right. which might be a problem in itself. But um, I don't know what happened, but I had been on a perfect streak of journaling every day. And last Monday was the last time I did it. And like, I didn't mean to stop. Is just like so many of my entries had just become. It's another day in quarantine. Oh yeah. Here's kind of what I did. Here's what's kind of going on in the world. Um, that like I didn't really feel the need to like, do I guess it. do it last week. Yeah. And I and I don't know. I can cheat it <laughs> by <laughs> editing the date and like keeping that streak going because part of the satisfaction is having the streak. But um, yeah, it's sitting at 118 days, and I'm seven days behind now. So um yeah i i should just pick it up again and like restart i i but get that though i like, haven't done it yet if i have a habit i mean this isn't you know i'm I'm sure this is very common but like I, if i have a habit and i drop it 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 becomes like almost like this guilt that i dropped it yeah and, and it's instead like a failure of, and yeah picking it up and just starting the failure again <laughs> Right. It's right. it's like, I almost want to just forget about it. Cause then I won't think about the failure versus like, just like, no, Carrie, stop, just do it. Just go do the thing. Yep. And then you'll yep. be that much better. And it's so easy for me to do. It's, it's an app on my phone. So yeah. I have really no excuse. Like the last time I tried journaling, it was um, one of those line a day uh, journals. So mm. it was already low stakes. Huh. Um, it was like five lines per day. And I made it to about mid April as well. Huh. So before I stopped, so it probably I wasn't a pandemic just... that time though. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, no. So I, no excuse that time. Um, but yeah, I just need to, I need to get back on it again because it was, it was helping. Like, you know, I, I, I try not to do anything specific. It's just, what am I thinking right now? Or like, what happened today? Mm. Um, you know, did anything big in the news happen or something big personally happened or, you know, something frustrating. I just write about that. I write about the thing that happened. You know, I right. don't, I try not to like get into it too much. I, I try to treat it like kind of like the line of day thing. So it's not really more than like two paragraphs. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. But I, I just found myself like writing the same things over and over, which maybe I just need to mix up what I'm doing at home. Maybe that's a sign. Yeah. 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 Have you ever gone through and like uh, gone back to the beginning of the year and started reading through it? I mm. did. Yeah. Yeah. Some good times. <laughs> oh, no. Fun Wait, stuff happening. Really oh no okay maybe don't <laughs> maybe don't it was it wasn't recent but i was thinking about like the last time i did it and yeah it was like i went on a a, a trip i went back home to california and we went to disneyland and went to oh, a friend's yeah. wedding and uh yeah those are good times when was the last time i felt joy <laughs> yeah. hmm. ah march whatever can't even go back whatever. to Disneyland now. Oh <laughs> yeah. You know, if I wanted to. I yeah. actually changed the way that I um do my bullet journal just because of everything that's happened. Um, there have been a couple layouts because I I watch a lot of uh YouTube videos where it's a lot of people who have like millions of subscribers and all they do is like really lay out their bullet journal and t- teach you how to like write 
script and stuff and yeah i buy into it <laughs> and so <laughs> there is they they did a few layouts that i had changed the way i'd done it from the beginning of the year when i started my new bullet journal but then now it kind of was it became really clear in the middle of like april or march that i don't even need the day-by-day -day calendar anymore i don't need a week or a to-do list for the week anymore because it's kind of just the same um mm -hmm. and so it, i had to change my journaling into something that's a bit more nucleus uh mm -hmm. or kind of just like this cloud of ideas mm -hmm. and i don't even do anything day by day anymore it's kind of just like well all right i guess i'm just going back to stream of uh stream of consciousness uh writing because uh, what's the point of having a to-do list sometimes if like I kind of just I'm living day by day just by like doing that to-do list so it's just it's a different way of thinking now it's kind of wild yeah I wonder if like when did when did you change this was it was it about like a week ago it was oh I actually I did it April um, okay because that I, was... I wonder if that's just like the the time of year where it's like it's like it, it, you're about a third of, of the way or a quarter of the year, a quarter of the way into the year. And it's like, you've been doing the same thing. Is it just natural for you to like want to change or like, mm -hmm. it's like subconsciously, like something needs to change for it to keep going and for it to feel fresh. Mm. Um, so I wonder, you know, kind of like what you're doing. I wonder if I approached it in a different way, if that would help and make journaling um, feel fresh and new. I think maybe that's maybe I should try something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's that's interesting because I, I feel like like this was part of a New Year's resolution until I watched this other CGP Grey video that <laughs> explained why New Year's resolutions are dumb and having <laughs> themed years is a better idea, which I also mm -hmm. like. And I'll apply that. Interesting. And I'll, I could talk about that in a second. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I was like, you know, it's always like. I made a promise to myself in January, I, you know, I got to I got to just push through and instead of just like trying to stick to this like commitment of just doing it to do it, mixing it up and like you're still doing the same thing and kind of giving it a refresh. Yeah, it's because it's, it's the the heart of the idea, not like to the letter. Exactly. It's like, yeah, yeah. You, you wanted to track your year. You wanted to be like more conscious of your thoughts, yeah. how you do that. That's not the important part. Right. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, maybe that, this that kinda... is your new bullet journal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, I, I have notes every week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, actually, um, I'm very excited to do this podcast because it's like, oh, finally something new, something different. Oh. Yeah, it is kind of nice to have this in the middle of this, all this. human interaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not yeah. a meeting. That's not a meeting. <laughs> yeah. God. And, Last week was all meetings for me. So I think that's why I was suffering. And thank God it's not making dumb jokes about fast food like other podcasts that <laughs> some of us might be on. At least you get fed. <laughs> Ooh, good point. It's, it's barely food, Carrie. That's, <laughs> that's, that's fair. Food. That's, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, I mean, at least you get to learn about Elon Musk and, and Grimes' child. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what Highlight. I'm Sleep soundly at night like, now. Yeah. Highlight of my day. Highlight my, of my, day. my biggest issue with last week was just a, a reminder that breaks are really important, even if you like what you're doing. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, that's true. Um, we we had to uh, we're basically last week we we recorded our stay at home or work from home commentary for the volume seven disc, um, which was great and it worked out fine and uh, I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed the people I was talking with. It was all great, but that added like you know three and a half hours of stuff to my week. Mm -hmm. uh and because of that like things were tighter and i wasn't even necessarily working longer hours we've been really great about that um but just not even like just the way things shook out like i wasn't taking a break because like oh i wanted to to finish this thing in between meetings mm -hmm. or something like that and uh, by the end of the week i was just done it's yeah, just like yeah. your week got denser because yeah, of it. yeah. and even yeah. even though even though you have fun doing it you're still expensing that energy yeah you know and that effort and like you know, even though you're not like, oh, I'm glad that's over. Ugh, I was really dreading that. It's it, you still like, you know, put effort into it. So, you know, even if it's fun, it you're, you're still, you know, tired after it. Yeah. So yeah, it makes it makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's, especially when things get denser, like that's that's a good time to be aware. Yeah, that's kind of like uh, my of whole life like... as like a concert <laughs> artist, because uh, oh. like I like doing art as like a hobby outside of work also. But if I'm like doing art already eight hours a day, 
right. it's like oh now i'm done with work what am i gonna do that's so sometimes i just art. get too tired yeah so i've been like kind of burnt out i don't know if y'all wanted to talk about that at some point but right. last year was definitely kind of like a burnt out year so i'm kind of glad this year i've taken more of a step back and doing more art direction or direct mm -hmm. directing mm -hmm. sorry mm -hmm. um but i definitely want to get back into the habit of like drawing for myself outside of work and like not putting pressure on myself to still be creative i guess yeah okay yeah. like one of my things uh, is uh uh one of my goals is to fill out a sketchbook in one month uh ooh. i'm saying it now so i can hold myself accountable but it's okay. a pretty small <laughs> sketchbook um okay it's maybe can. like 70 I'll pages with yeah. you at the end of the month Oh, yeah. God. Maybe next <laughs> year. yeah, I just want to get practice at drawing and like refresh myself. I feel like kind of rusty after kind of falling off mm, good habits. Yeah. So. That makes I sense. yeah, I I kind of thought like doing journaling every week would or every day would help me like become a better writer, but I feel like it's so stream of consciousness and kind of short that it, it it's not really an, a creative effort. It's more like mm -hmm. a psychological check-in. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I feel so, like I was just, so much of writing, I feel like, is, is almost less about the writing and more of the editing that comes afterwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like the... I can edit all the posts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Well, it's, like, it's, so, it's so rare that, like, the first time you write a scene, like, that's what it is. Right. You know, it's yeah. about, like, you know, learning how to... Like, I, I don't feel like the end goal of being, like a writer or anything is that just, oh, you just write gold perfect every time. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you take feedback and look at your own and make it better? So yeah, yeah it's like, yeah, I, I see what you're saying where it's like, oh, I'm writing more. I'm practicing yeah. that muscle more. Exactly. It's like, but only a part of the muscle. Yeah. 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 It's not the whole process. Yeah. Yeah. It's still good. Um, yeah. I, I still see value in it. Oh, definitely. And, you know, on, on, on two fronts, the uh, creative and, and the uh, mental health. So mm -hmm. Yeah, I just need to get back onto it. But I've I've always wondered, Aaron, like as as an artist who works as an artist as well, yeah, balancing that hobby and work, like, because like I you know I write for work. Yeah. I rarely write as a hobby. It's mm -hmm. not the thing I go and do. Yeah. It, like you know, doodle stories and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> right, yeah. So it's like. Yeah, how do you, how do you balance it? Like, oh God, I, so I definitely so couldn't answer hobby. that because I feel like <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Um, yeah, I just don't have an answer besides me kind it's of taking. I, I haven't been as hard on myself as I have been in the past. Um, definitely, like after work, like maybe in the past year or so, I've been like, oh, like I feel bad for not doing art for like Twitter or social mm -hmm. media afterwards um but lately i'm trying to tell myself okay well you're doing this really intensive job um and you're still doing art mm -hmm. even if it's mm -hmm. not art for yourself so mm -hmm. i'm trying i'm just trying not to beat myself up over it um, i think that's, I think that's super like important the best, like yeah. the first step yeah because so. like when you mentioned burnout like i i feel like that's where it comes in for me is like people you know a lot that the word burnout gets thrown out around all the time and you know, there, there's definitely the overworking part of it, but there's also the overpressure part of it. Yeah, and, oh yeah. And that's where I usually get it. It's like, it's not always external. It's mostly me. It's mostly internal, yeah. Yeah, mm. it's just like, I have to do it. And, you know, I just gotta, I gotta, I gotta get it done. I owe it to myself, you know, mm -hmm. to, to, to work on this or something. And yeah, that's when you can just like, that's when apathy happens. And when, when you have that first thought of, maybe I don't really need to. That's when you know it's burned out. Yeah. You, you know, you're burned out on it. And maybe, you know, going back to this journal thing, maybe that's what happened, you know? Yeah. Just holding myself to it too much and just stopped caring. Yeah. I have yeah. I have been living where you're talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly like I and and that's like it's exactly what what you I think Torma you brought up when I was talking about uh my last week was that like I love what I'm doing. And mm -hmm. And it's not always fatigue. Like we are as a team, like we're not crunching. We're not putting in overtime. We haven't in like a year and a half. Right. Like we're our, yeah, our hours are great. Work is great. Everyone's super nice. Like it's, it's been very good, mm -hmm. but I've been doing the same thing for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I also, yeah, I have like a lot of pressure that I put on myself and like, honestly, like 
I, again, I think we, I'm going to keep caveating this. It's like, I, uh, wish all this COVID stuff didn't happen. I'm excited for everybody to get back safely. Uh, mm -hmm. I've enjoyed having to figure out how to record from home mm. because it's mm -hmm. been like a production thing. That's been entirely different from my day to day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's something I still like. like, I like photography. I like film. I like audio. Yeah. Like I like all that stuff and I don't get to do it normally. So when it's like, hey, can you figure out how to work from home? I'm like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, let me get a camera. Let me do this thing. Like, let me, <laughs> I have this light. Let me use that. Like, it's, it's, sometimes I really feel like you just have to like completely step away from what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and dive, almost dive into something else. Yeah. You said, you said I worked on a, like a tiny project um, at the, was it the beginning of this year? Do it you was, yeah, the, yeah. The, to, the, um, you know what I'm talking about. It was I don't a pixel to, thing. Yeah, it was like a little pixel uh, pixel art thing, and yeah. um, like it was just something for, like for a sales deal it, that didn't go through. But they wanted like a little sample of what was going to happen, and it was like, I don't really need to like do all this work on it, but like I like did like uh, temp vo, mm -hmm. uh, I edited it, like I did I did everything that wasn't like just my normal job. Right. <laughs> yeah, and it was like I did it because it was fun, and I kept doing it because I was having fun, and then. He, I like uh, tossed it over to Issa and she like animated it and did some of the art. And it was like, I don't know, it was like low, it was like a low scale production thing. And it was just kind of fun to mix it up and do something new. And yeah. like, I feel like that kind of recharged like yeah. my batteries and stuff. And yeah, so I guess, I guess like the core of it is just like changing it up really yeah. helps sometimes. <laughs> and it's just like, a, like you gotta, you gotta recognize when it's happening and then you gotta like, change it up and so that when you go back um you know it feels it feels like you're ready to go back and you're actually looking forward to it yeah i think one of the bigger things too is kind of learning to say no to a lot of things as yeah. well i actually just had this happen um today funny enough because uh I was, I'm not supposed to be working. You have the day off. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. So why are you I, here? <laughs> I, I said last week that I, I promised to be here. I just, I just really wanted to not think about work, even it's though. It's because you obviously. love us so much. Aww. You guys are great. You guys are my favorite people. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Validation. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I got a message asking if I could like be on camera again tomorrow. And this was in the morning. So I was like, oh yeah, sure. Tomorrow, just an hour sounds fine. And then I kind of spiraled after a couple oh. of hours, uh, hence my like chip binge, because I was kind of <laughs> just like, oh, I, I'm suddenly stressed thinking about this because I wanted to bake a pie. And I felt like <laughs> suddenly just an hour of thinking about having to work and like put up my folding screen and turning the camera on and just making sure that everything's okay. Cause I share an apartment now and like, I have mm. to be considerate of my roommate's time. So it's just a lot of these things. Suddenly I just got very stressed. And then mm -hmm. I had to tell that person like, okay, I should have said no in hindsight. <laughs> I cannot work tomorrow because actually it's my day off and I, I suddenly got very stressed about it and they're like, oh yeah, no, it's no problem. But I was like, oh God, I should have said no. It's it's just that feeling of yeah. really, it, it, like you said, Jordan, being able to recognize it is so important to that process of making sure like you kind of give yourself that and be realistic with yourself. Yeah. And it, it's really, it really is just like a, a self-care thing where it's like, mm -hmm. you're, you're not doing it for any other reason other than like for yourself like you know your overall mental well-being you know and like just taking off some stress because like an hour recording isn't just an hour recording yeah. as as we know sometimes it takes two maybe three tries to get the intro right Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Hey, all right look you had me i had to read something verbatim i can't read <laughs> Okay, that's not in my contract. I don't even know if I have a contract. <laughs> Probably? I don't know. It's okay. I didn't. I, I messed up twice last week. No one knows that. Movie magic. But now. It's true. Yeah. I it's, do. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a commitment. And it takes, it takes like, hyping yourself up to, yeah. like, you know, be on, you know? Yeah. And then and, there's the hours of thinking about it later, wondering if you did a good job or not. Right. Oh my god! And then, we're, and then we're, going to bed and you're playing the whole thing in your head, yeah. being like, "Oh, I should have said that." We're, yeah, an entire this entire group is like introverts, so we all think the same way, which yeah. is why I know we all understand each other. Yeah, it's too yeah. real right now. I need y'all to stop <laughs> this call out. It's it's not right. <laughs>
It's okay. It's just me in a couple hours. No big deal. <laughs> what's a uh, normal Tuesday night? Oh man, what's uh what's every week look like? Can we maybe we look forward in a positive way? Oh okay. yeah. Um, I am. Uh, I am excited about the video game that I'm playing, nice. and I am excited about some meetings I have coming up that I can't talk about. <laughs> you son of a bitch! I'm gonna look at your calendar, Carrie. <gasps> <laughs> um, no. work work wise, I actually have some cool stuff I get to work on. Um and uh involves writing which i don't get to do a lot of these days so do that there is some personal stuff one thing about um the lockdown and like being home more is like i for some reason i've had so many ideas for like new stories and stuff mm -hmm. um nice. just like personal projects um like i just want to start them i have a like a, a note in the notes app that's just like all the ideas um, I should just like start one of those one day. Um, that'd be a good outlet. That first and, step. Yeah. Yeah. Just literally start it. Mm -hmm. And, um, non work related, uh, my, I feel like my animal crossing Island is like 98% where I want it to be. Ooh. So what are you, like, what are you all, missing? All the day to day stuff, like where it's like, oh, I have to like build the build the bridge or build the incline or move somebody's house like and wait a day. All that's done. Everything is where Damn. it's supposed to be. Finally. Um, I just need like a couple more pieces of furniture. I have a list of like things I want to add um, to like certain spots um, and then it'll be done. But like, yeah, I feel like I can have people over now. <laughs> <laughs> the only hard. people who have been to my island are Cole. And Gus. Whoa, wow. the privilege. Yeah. <laughs> is is what happened? Gus said, Man, this looks like shit. And then after that, you're like, Well, no one He actually liked my layout. And really? I was like, Oh, cool. Yeah. And we went to my uh the secret beach uh, on like the North Shore that you, that every island has, and we hung out there. It was really cute. I hey, yeah, this is a really weird side tangent. Think. I took a screenshot of us. <laughs> I saw a thing on TikTok where somebody lined like 25 beds in a row oh, yes. and they just <laughs> roll down, down them <laughs> i saw one with the um the toilet lids lifting up as yeah, you walk yeah. down <laughs> it's so good oh, oh, aaron what are you so looking good. for this week oh yeah well uh before this i got asked to do some art things for some non-animation related stuff so Ooh. that'll be coming out friday ish or sometime next week hopefully Ooh. and then uh started watching tower of god and a new episode comes out this week Ooh. and uh i'm excited for that you said that was really good and it's before, really fun. Before, before isa goes the thing i wanted to tell you before the recording is that i started watching tower of god oh, damn you really? <gasps> yeah because you, you, like you put it you put a link you put a link to it and i watched it like an hour before the recording started uh i watched the first episode i liked it oh, oh i am shocked yeah getting I, jordan first, to watch anime i mean it's it's funny because I think we all commonly forget that Jordan actually watches anime. <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I, I will watch a anime. Uh, a anime. It has to be a specific kind of anime. I haven't gotten into an anime in, since Kill a Kill. Whoa. Oh, okay. 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 But, but you got into Kill a Kill. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Interesting. Watch the, I don't watch the JoJo's and I don't watch okay. the the My Hero. Um, also, that okay. was your fix. <laughs> ah. okay. so, so, I mean, like... It's so Jordan's, surreal and weird yeah. and like it has, you, you know, it has the corny tropes of an anime that like, you know, that in the back of my head, I'm always like, oh, my, my parents would be like, so, <laughs> oh, no. so mad at me for watching <laughs> no. this. Yeah, it's horrible. It's stupid corny my joke. Mental, my mental image of Jordan is he watches anime that is mostly memeable. Mm. <sighs> well then th but then i feel like you would need to watch jojo's also true because that's watched, like uh, meme Team city Pop central Epic? i can't i can't explain what it is that like gets me into an anime or like why i will keep watching one or whatever um Did i mean you... i stopped watching i stopped watching um attack on titan Definitely. i think i watched two seasons of that i get that that was like the hot shit for like a summer i was 
Did, did, are, are did, you... Have you ever seen a Space Patrol with Luco? No, what did you just say? Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, I Patrol. think you would actually. Is that a new like Neo Yokio? Because I really like Neo <laughs> I think I think you would like it. They're, it's short episodes and it's very like fast paced and kind of memey. Yeah. Okay. You can watch it that all within good. like an hour or two. I think they actually released a like movie version of it on YouTube oh, for free. Cool. Does uh, does Ag- Agretzuko count as an anime? Because yeah. I think yes. so. I'm I'm all in on that. Oh, yeah, I love. Right. I, does Yu Gi Oh count? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like Jordan, are you going to continue watching Tower of God? Yeah, uh, the way the first episode ends is really interesting. So maybe, uh, maybe we should watch it or talk about it next week. <gasps> okay, yes, I'll watch an episode. Now that's what it's Issa's fun. looking for. Yeah, <laughs> I have to watch the Terrace House. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, Issa, what, oh, Issa, what are you looking forward to? I fell off the Terrace House too. <laughs> um, I don't fall off a house, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't let that go. <laughs> so scary. I, it's not necessarily a, a weekly thing as it's more um this earlier this week um i've set a new goal for myself uh mm. and it's it's a col- it's a combination of teamwork and lots of talking but essentially i'm saving i have to start saving money now and um that's weird to say but it's kind of exciting um, i get it yeah to look forward to like kind of a new uh, the next step for like life things um uh yeah it, it's awesome. essentially uh you look at your empty house in animal crossing and you think about all the things you could possibly put in it so <laughs> hmm, that's that's the exciting part for me that's what i'm looking for isa's getting a couch <laughs> <laughs> finally after all of these years <laughs> yeah she's been standing for so long her feet um, hurt that reminds me of of the uh the uh the yearly themed video um, oh yeah 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 uh, so yeah, he, he talks about um, you know just sticking to I want to do X is is setting yourself up setting yourself up for failure when when you say you want to do X you really mean generally it would be nice to get better at doing X or something mm-hmm. like mm. you know my resolution being I want to journal every day is me just being like I want to take better track and record my year and how it evolves mm-hmm. right no that's more general or so like having a, okay. would an example be like instead of saying i'm gonna jog every day like i'm gonna live a healthier lifestyle exactly yeah okay. so it, it becomes like your yearly theme becomes health you know right. being more active um my my theme that i decided to go with was also financial and i wanted to better track all my spending and um you know where you know what i'm buying and where the money's coming in where the money's going out like where mm-hmm. where can i then like cut back on stuff and i used to use mint which just does it all for you automatically yes. but that leads to complacency mm-hmm. so what i switched to was a spreadsheet where i input every yeah. transaction wow. so you feel it even more mm-hmm. and uh that really helped um and yeah, I mean, I, I've been in a similar boat as you, Isa, when it's time to like meet a, a, a savings goal or a financial goal. And uh, it is very satisfying when you get there. So I'm looking forward to you achieving that. <laughs> now, what do you do if, if you need four goals for your year? <laughs> like health and financial and mental health. So what you're saying is what what if your life is a mess <laughs> yeah hey what if you're a fucking train wreck what what, uh, what do you do what do you do then what if you've just been putting things off for like i don't know nine years <laughs> carrie what did we say like about like the personal projects when's the best time to do it just you just gotta start that's great i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go jogging tonight there you go you've inspired me there you go or I'm going to play Final Fantasy fourteen. We'll see. I'm going to oh, run yeah, yeah, yeah. in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can, like, get a treadmill and, like, jog while you play Final Fantasy fourteen. That's true. I, hey, real talk, though, I'm going to play darts in Final Fantasy seven. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but I can jog at the same time. There you wow. go. We'll see how that goes. Um, That's a great way to end it. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing, yeah. Um, thank you, everybody, for, uh, for checking this episode. Uh, 
we we really like doing this um both because uh we like talking to each other and uh i mean i've already gotten some messages of people saying that you know they've they've been wanting some show like this or like maybe it's helped them with the creative thing so we i just think that's really cool and we'd love to continue to spread that so uh yeah. If, if you, you know, if you do happen to like this and would be down to share it, that would be really helpful. Yeah, um, tell your friends. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice way. Like, yes, please just tell your friends. Do please. it. Do it. Watch our show. <laughs> Pay um, your friends to watch it. Or listen. Yeah, do it. Carrie says do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. Uh, first members, that's great. It's on YouTube. It's on uh, Spotify, and iTunes, podcasts, all that stuff. Um, yeah, no just, excuses. Just right now just consume it anyway like yeah. we just need people to, to watch it yeah be a first member watch it there then go listen to it then send your friend <laughs> yeah. a youtube link there you go can we ask yeah, people to family. just watch it in the background on loop on youtube all day is that a thing we can do probably shouldn't do that yeah probably, <laughs> probably don't say it okay uh, i definitely <laughs> won't say it <laughs> make sure you give us a thumbs up and if you have any notes feel free to thumbs up and comment about them yeah if, yeah. if, if there's anything about the show that you think could be better or different something maybe a topic you'd like to hear us talk about like we would love to hear that it's a collaborative process between it's us it's and criticism. you yeah <laughs> and not just you suck uh, so yeah thank you so much and we will see you bye. next week bye everybody Thanks, everyone. bye bye